All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about this situation immediately, okay? This situation has been wilder than if Yellowstone was to blow the hell up, okay? This is how big this situation is getting. We had Nick Marex responding to Dr. Disrespect. He ended up calling Dr. Disrespect a retweet. I cannot say the exact word. We got the homie Dr. Lupo. He went dinging. I showed you the clip. I can play you in just a little bit, but apparently today we got a new update. Like the video if you love God. Like the video if you love your mama. Dislike the video and that's gonna be a sin, folks. I'm warning you real quick, but apparently August the Duck, shout out to him, because we saw his prior video, right? And apparently he went bozo at Dr. Disrespect. Today, he has a video and innocent question mark. So, I'm naturally curious, but, uh-oh, I read the comments, so man came out, says that just because he offers free gynecological exams, it doesn't make him a doctor. Damn. Not like us was a warning for society. Uh-oh, roll it. Well, guys, we're somehow back. We are once again talking about the insanity that has been Dr. Disrespect's return to the internet, and I'm glad to report that somehow it has only gotten worse. Didn't really think that was possible. If you've been living under a rock for the last couple of months, what? or if you have a life outside of the internet like a normal person, you may have n No, nobody has a life outside of internet. What? No idea what I'm talking about. Over the last few months, Dr. Disrespect, one of the world's most famous streamers, has been outed for being banned off of Twitch in 2020 for allegedly sexting a minor on the platform. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's kind of the gist of the situation. If you want the full rundown, I'll link a video in the top right corner. But for the purposes of this video, you'll probably do just fine knowing nothing more than Dr. Disrespect was allegedly getting kind of freaky with somebody that he probably shouldn't have been. Now, as you can imagine, once this came out, people were upset for like maybe 45 minutes. After that, it quickly became an internet civil war split up by the yeah. issue on whether or not you think it's a cool- Oh man, right now, yeah, it's a civil war right now, right? Like I'm seeing, in some it's kind of crazy right because uh, i've seen dr lupa's response and for context i'll just play you like a little bit off it so you get the idea of what's going on but wait for it but here's the thing the one in the comments if you think he's not guilty two in the comments if you think dr disrespect is guilty i want to know like where you guys at because uh it, it depends right because what i mean by depends is that in certain like uh, on Twitter, especially in certain threads, everybody's like, hey, Dr. Disrespect is innocent. So 90% would say that Dr. is innocent. In another thread, for example, the one that I saw with Dr. Lupo, 90% of people were on Dr. Lupo's side and 10% were on Dr. Disrespect's side. So it's like, yeah, people are like all over the place with this situation and people defending him, people not defending him. And it's like a crazy uh, situation. But check this out and I'll get back to this one. All right, wait for it. What? You should hold every person that you respect accountable for their mistakes, too. So in the situation where a person that I was working with consistently on both game development and my career oh, as a streamer at the same time, we had collaborated multiple times. Suddenly, it turns out that years ago, he tried to message a minor to solicit them for sex, and it, it got caught, and that's why it didn't happen. You expect me to not turn my back? Bro, y'all, there's no way you do not have fucking brain damage from this. There's absolutely no way. If 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 anywhere along that path you go, oh, that's fine. You got something fucked up in your head, dude. I don't give a shit. Clip it, put it on LSF, tag him. I don't give a fuck, dude. He messaged a 17-year-old when he was in his late 30s with a child and married, trying to solicit them for sex. And every single time he talks about it, it's going to be sugar-coated. It's going to be dumbed down. Because at what point do you expect someone to say, yeah, I wanted to fuck a teenager? Whoa, do you whoa, think he's going to say whoa, whoa, Tranquilo, tranquilo, papi, papi. Chill, puppy. Whoa! That's what he said. That's what he said. That? Fuck no. He's gonna make it look better for himself every single time. There is no place along that. It doesn't matter if it's Tyler. If it was my fucking brother, I would say the same shit. Because you do not defend that. There's no defending it. Okay? Get your fucking head out of the gutter. The brain rot is fucking killing some of you, and it bl That's what happened. So, now with that context in mind, let's resume this video thing for a 40 year old man to talk to a minor while he's married with two children seems like a pretty easy choice there but clearly it's not for a lot of people and that's how we've got into where we are today dr disrespect has returned to the internet in full force and the other day he went live and he gave what he's claiming to be his side of the story and it's it's pretty bad guys we're gonna be watching today a oh, sort huh? of compilation right. of the highlights from that stream that i got from jake lucky on twitter so there might be some missing information here i'm not claiming that everything we're gonna see today is everything there that was go. mentioned about this situation on stream but i'm sorry it's a six hour long live 
live stream, and most people seem to agree that this video covers just about everything that was said that was notable. So it's uh, it's good enough for me. So let's. Uh, not I, I think uh, I think he's gonna be able to win. He can win mostly everyone, right? Because right now it's 50-50, right? So, but but I think Doctor Disrespect can win at least 90% or 80% of everybody. Had it been like he just or if he reveals the messages and if the messages are not that bad. Don't waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Are you nervous to be back? After what's transpired over the last couple months, am I excited to be back to this type of world? <laughs> okay, so this is something that the doctor is going to do a lot during this. He has this really like, oh, I'm so above this kind of attitude, I feel like, where he's treating this situation in, in a way that I don't really think he has the right to. For some context, if you're one of the people who doesn't really know about the situation, I think the quote type of world that this guy is referring yeah, He was in his character. He was in his character. But but he but he did like a full blown uh, response, right? So play that, man. Why are you showing like this part? Referring to here is the type of world that didn't accept him with open arms after he admitted on Twitter in his own words that he was talking to a minor. Yeah. Secondly, this is the one, right? This is the one that most people have a problem with, and I can understand that. Like Doc himself said that, right, on Twitter, which he now deleted that tweet. But he said that. So if he reveals the text messages, and had it been, he never put that put that initial response. Out the way he did, I think he wouldn't be in uh, uncharted territories. World that didn't accept him with open arms after he admitted on Twitter in his own words that he was talking to a minor while he's married and has kids. If that's the type of world you're not excited to be back in, a world where a man is held accountable for his own actions and is not supported for doing stupid shit, I think that says a lot about you as a person. For almost four years, champs, four the years? public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. Champs? I guess since you all... Missed the point with my personal statement. The personal statement where you admitted to having inappropriate conversations with the minor? That one? I don't really know what point there is to miss. He's gonna go on to claim that this was like a 4D chess move where he was just trying to trick journalists. Yeah, dude, you really owned the journalist by admitting to having conversations with a teenager. You got him. Yeah, this is one of the biggest points, though, like... Whether you find him guilty or not guilty, this is one thing that I feel like that most people can agree on, right? Like, this has done more harm. Whether, like, for example, think about this for a second, right? Like, you think doctor is guilty? Okay, then case closed, right? But if you think doc is not guilty, then the case is open. Even then, it's like, uh, man, like, you know, that part that he put in on his Twitter in his statement, that's because of that. And right after that, he got demonetized on YouTube, sponsors dropped him, everything went sideways right and that's the the the, the thing that kind of made it like super big because uh if he just came out and said that man like uh, i'm not any of what they're accusing me of uh give me some time i will put out a response right and people would be like yeah people, of course people would still be calling him out like don't get me wrong but it wouldn't be like this i feel like that people would have waited for his response and rightfully so understandably he put out his response and generally speaking it was good minus the character and all that it was good, but if, if he showed the receipts and he never put that initial tweet out, I think he would have been like in much better spot. Some people are 50-50, of course, as well, but there are very few people right now that are 50-50. Either you you think he's guilty or you think he's not guilty. That's where majority's at. Maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Ah, huh, champs? You see, there was a lawsuit pending, and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs, again, I respected all the confidential obligations. Okay, so while this is probably true, this kind of stuff is pretty common in lawsuits. Sort of like a mutually assured destruction kind of deal. If you start talking, I'll start talking. So this is probably true, but honestly, I find it kind of funny that he's acting like he's the one who was taking the high road here. Like he was the good person in this. Look, champs, I chose not to break the confidentiality agreement that would require me telling the world that I was talking to a minor. I'm a fucking hero, champs. Like, okay, dude, nobody would fucking break this confidentiality agreement in your shoes. That does not make you a good person. Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two-time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? You didn't have any first-hand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? 
Do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? Okie dokie, so I know it's kind of a meme, but when you have to say shit like this, not a good look, doctor. Look, it's pretty obvious that when this went in front of a judge, whatever the doctor did or whatever he said was deemed not bad enough to get him sent to jail. However, what he just said implies something that really doesn't make this situation look too good. Maybe I'm reading too deep into it, but when you whip out, do you even know the legal definition of what sexting is? It really makes me think that whatever you were saying to this individual required the definition of sexting to be scrutinized in your Bruh. lawsuit. Again, I touched on this when we first talked about all this okay time on time on real quick right like based on what we have heard so far and based on of listen man you can call dr disrespect a creep but i think calling dr disrespect a pdf that's way too much though that's way too much i think yeah it's justified because uh he was like 35 36 uh, and so far the age is unknown right if we find out the age is known because I'm, I'm hearing like everybody's side, right? Like I'm, I'm seeing like everybody's comments. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that if it turns out that he was texting or sexting, that's, I mean, these words are being thrown around. Doc is saying he was not sexting. He's accused of sexting. So there's that part, right? But let's assume the best case scenario here real quick. We're going to get down to the worst case. Don't worry, guys. Uh, the, the best case scenario. So it seems like the age that's given is a 16 or 17 year old right and he also dr disrespect also says that which is true he was not charged legally so it seems like that this information based off of what we have heard this one uh this dr disrespect uh situation was investigated by like children pol uh, police or something like that right like i i don't it's like the DEA, but for like the kids or some crap like that. I don't know the exact term. We covered it prior, but apparently they investigated and they found none wrong with it. You got the judge also saying none wrong with it. The court, apparently the situation also went be into court behind the scenes is what we're hearing. And he was not charged legally, of course, right? Uh, so, and based off of what Doc said, it seems like that the person was a minor, but at the age of consent, so perhaps 16 17 based off of what he said and in, in his tweet initially and based off of his uh uh response listen man i'm trying to be unbiased i'm trying to cover the news as unbiased as possible okay so that's based off of that it seems like that he's not a pdf but you can call him a creep that's up to you right that's up to you i mean if you want to call him a creep i guess that's uh that's gonna be fair if you choose to go that route versus calling him a creep now worst case scenario right he initially said in his tweet that he did message a minor individual minor and sometimes the conversation leaned inappropriately right and what what we're talking about right dr disrespect also kind of clarified and said that it was not inappropriate as in sexting okay okay but here's the thing though you said that initially in your tweet so of course like when you said that like yeah people are gonna assume the worst and that's what happened and then later on he said that he did that to bait the journalists that don't sound too good to be that doesn't sound good man why would you shoot yourself like that right and then come back and act like that was a bit that was a bit right that was a bit if this was like something else because you guys gotta understand that the accusations are crazy for example uh, put yourself in the shoes of uh, somebody that's been let's just say okay let's just say you're watching the video you're being accused of a pd hopefully not hypothetically we're talking about okay are you gonna bait like dr disrespect and be like yo man i messaged a minor inappropriately are you gonna say that or are you gonna justify or not justify but like you're gonna defend yourself you're gonna defend yourself right you're gonna defend yourself and you're gonna try to come up with proof as fast as possible to clear your name right and yeah absolutely doc did not do that he just admitted in his statement initially at least that's how it felt like to people maybe he did not admit maybe he admitted but we're talking about the worst case scenario we already covered the best case scenario right like that's what i'm also seeing people say right now that he admitted in his statement that he messaged a, a, a minor inappropriately so based off of dr disrespect word and now he's saying it's a bait so you know you you got like both sides right now fighting 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 everybody like right now uh beefing beefing everybody beefing 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 right uh, i want to know which sounds uh, more logical to you in the comments below man most conversations that you have with a person that are not leaning towards something would not require the legal definition of sexting to be brought up in compared to whatever you're doing. You know what I mean? Now look, don't get me wrong. This could be a case of his lawyers being like, look at the definition of sexting and then look at what they were saying. It's clear Dang. there was nothing going on here. Sure, that could be why he brings this up, but something that he's going to say in a moment makes me think that's not the case. I do. And yeah, I but used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement.
yeah. edited, etc. Just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. This is the one I'm talking about, right? So that's Dr. Disrespect's defense on it, that he put a minor in his initial statement to bait the journalist. Man, why would you, like, shoot yourself like that, bro? Like, damn. Had it been he didn't say it that way? Of course, if he really did that crap and he self-snitch, okay, that's one thing, right? But for example, like, I'm trying to assume the best here, right? Like, just say Dr. Disrespect is completely innocent, right? Right, I, I mean, you can call him a creep though, like 35, 17, 16, I guess you can call him a creep, right? Uh, but but that's like completely different than <laughs> being labeled or called as a PDF. I don't think people understand like being labeled as a PDF is big, guys. Uh, Gen Z don't understand it, but like, like damn, damn, right? Like it's a big, there are actual PDFs out there that needs to be locked up, absolutely. I don't think, based off of what I'm hearing, I don't think Doc is a PDF. You can call him a creep, but based off of his own statement, a lot of people are thinking he's a PDF, though. So, he, he kind of, like, shot himself, if that uh, makes sense. Uh, th does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. Uh, in, the, in the comments. <laughs> And boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. Okay, so this is what I was talking right. about earlier. This idea that Dr. Disrespect was just fucking with the media when he said he was talking to a minor and edited the word minor in and out of his statements. Really, dude? You expect me to believe that you told the entire world you were a predator as a joke? As a gotcha to the media? I mean, are you yeah, serious? Right, like, if you believe this, I, I don't know what to tell you. When you... Yeah, like, that's one thing that... Or maybe he was in his character, right? Maybe he was on his character. Maybe that's what it is, man. Maybe he was playing his character way too seriously man now nah, listen man there are certain things where you you gotta be like hold up wait a minute let me not say that okay <laughs> let me not say that when all these so-called journalists cody fired off your tweets did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? All right, uh, so not trying to pause this every five seconds, but this is what I was referring to when I said that there's something that makes me think this was not just his lawyers bringing up sexting to prove a point. If you weren't sexting a person, if you weren't doing anything inappropriate or sexual, why does the age of consent matter here, doctor? Why is that relevant? It's not illegal to have a normal conversation with somebody under the age of consent. Like, that's, that's not a crime. Why does this matter? I mean, come on, dude, you're telling on yourself. If these former trust and safety team members, yeah. and by the way, I know exactly who they are, <laughs> actually had first-hand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually. Ex yeah, this is this is what I was talking about, right? Like, good, uh, this is what Doc said himself, and uh, uh, we heard, we, we learned that as well, Twitch. Because initially, this was coming uh, from uh, that Rod Breslu guy, right? Like, these Twitch insiders, right? Like, Cody as well, the one that started it all. Uh, they, they said that this information, and we heard that, like, this was reported to the authorities back uh like a month and a half ago when this situation was first blowing up right so we learned that then and now you heard it from doc so it seems like that this information was true so his case was definitely investigated and they did not found uh did not charge him so it seems like it seems like that the person was probably 16 or 17. it seems like that way based off of what we're hearing listen man i'm just trying to cover the news as unbiased and as fair as possible Especially on topics like that, guys. Uh, I, I hope that makes sense. I'm not saying he's guilty. I'm not saying he's not guilty. I'm just trying to cover the news, okay? I'm just a messenger, man. I'm just a messenger. Explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate. Purposely. And look at how it's defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but... Mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. Okay, so I know that was a long section there, but I wanted to let that play out. I don't know uh -huh. if he really believes that what he's saying here, all these clarifications and definitions make him look better to the average person, but I don't think they do. Both the general agreed upon legal definition of sexting and things that fall under CSAM are image and video based. Sure, he acknowledges that no sexually explicit messages were sent, but he doesn't say anything about what was found by other people in that regard. From what I am hearing, what's actually coming out of his mouth, he is saying that the people who invented 
investigated this, did not find anything that could be constituted as sexting or CSAM. Nothing about text messages, though. Again, I'm not trying to imply that Dr. Disrespect did anything illegal here. The justice system exists for a reason. If he was tried and nothing that was illegal by the book was found, that's the end of it. But that does not mean people can't judge you morally and have their own beliefs. The way that he's yeah. trying to defend all this... And that's why I'm saying, right? Like, if you think, uh, based off of all of this, if you think he's a creep, that's your opinion. That's your opinion, right? But I don't think, like, he's a PDF based off of the information that we had. These are two different things, man. Two separate things, right? And, and morally and objectively, him, like, cheating on his wife first time, then the second time, allegedly based off of, like, what he's describing and what we're hearing. Yeah, morally, that's corrupt, right? Like, morally, that's wrong. But that's, like, that's his business with uh, his wife, his kids, and the person involved, and between God and if he believes in God. If he doesn't believe it, then it's, like, between these people, right? Like, I I'm not gonna judge them. I, I of course, like, it, uh, it's morally corrupt. I would not, like, recommend doing that. I would not want to do that personally either. But, like, I'm not gonna judge him because that's the matter between the, the people involved and him, right? You, you feel what I'm saying? It really seems like the situation was that there were inappropriate messages shared, but at the end of the day, nothing was illegal, so that was the end of it. You are not exempt from being judged just because the things you did were not illegal. They still sound pretty fucking immoral from where I'm standing. So the next segment here is pretty long-winded, so I'm going to try and summarize it for you. If you think I'm leaving anything out, feel free to fact check me. Go watch the video or the stream. So he begins by addressing why these two were talking in the first place, and he chalks it up to nothing more than him just engaging with the community, talking to other streamers, talking to people about video games, stuff like that. And he says that's it, that's the only reason he was just engaging with the community around him. He then goes on to state that his ex-Twitch partner manager found out that Dr. Disrespect was exchanging these whispers with this individual. He says that the partner manager obviously had a grudge against him. He would never support him in any way. He would never try and get him on the front page. He wouldn't inform him of Twitch events going on. He didn't follow him on any social media. Which, I mean, to be fair, if you are the partner manager of somebody as big as Dr. Disrespect, not doing anything like that is very suspicious. It is strange that you would not do that when Dr. Disrespect was one of the faces of the platform. That kind of behavior yeah. is strange. But he continues saying that after they asked for a new- And based off of what we have heard, uh, it, this is also important. Twitch uh, did not like him. People uh, over at Twitch don't like him as well so that's also uh, uh an important factor to consider as well partner manager a few months later that ex twitch partner manager but but all of this kind of trumps everything because of what was said in his initial tweet is what people are saying as well so that's also an important factor twitch don't like him people over at twitch didn't like him that's why they banned him without investigating which i think uh initially they didn't bother to investigate further and get the side of Dr. Disrespect, which Dr. Disrespect uh, actually talked about as well. We heard that in a statement. Uh, I mean, when I say statement, in, in like the, the live stream, right? So yeah, that part unfair, right? So they didn't want to hear his side, didn't want to get his statement. They didn't want to investigate. They just blocked him right off the bat. The reason of why I'm saying this is unfair is because usually when crap like this goes down, they like to talk with the streamer in question. Uh, they like to investigate it further before coming to the conclusion. But in the case of Doc, they didn't do none of that. Is what we're hearing, and they 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 banned him, which was un that that was unfair, absolutely. But man, this, uh, we're gonna wait till we're gonna wait for more information, guys. Check out this video on the screen, man. This was the last episode that we've done, and in this one, we had the response from Nick Merckx as well, guys. I don't think you guys are ready for this one, man. The homie Nick Merckx came out, and he went ganging at the homie Doctor Disrespect. Check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Good news for GTA 6.